Hey, what's up, guys? I hope I hope you're all having a great time. Today, I'm here to show you how to bypass the account on a Motorola mobile device. In this case, here we have a Moto G60's 5G with the latest version of Android and its most recent security patch, which doesn't allow us to open applications and also has much more security, already blocking a lot of things. That said, this method can easily work for a Moto G50, a Moto E30 or Moto E40, G40, G100, G200, and any kind of Motorola that has Android version 12. So if you want to know how to bypass this in the easiest and most, let's get started. A put super quick pause. By the way, huge thanks to everyone who has been subscribing, who are appearing here on the screen, to everyone who has liked the video, and to those who have participated in the comments. A thousand thanks. Also, thanks to the new top donors who you can join through the membership and get Google account bypasses, fully personalized and completely virtual device routing. I can help you. So if you want completely personalized help, don't forget to become a channel member. The link is down below in the description. And here I'll also leave you one of my latest videos, which are really cool. So now let's get started. All right, folks, to keep this video from getting too long, let's quickly hit start here. Let's go. Here it's very important to have a SIM card inserted in the phone. We're going to tap on start setup, then skip. Now we're going to connect to a Wi-Fi network. And once we're connected, it basically brings us here to continue as usual. Ah, checking for Motorola updates and then preparing the phone for this. But from this point on, we all know what's going to happen. Here it shows us uh, copy. We select don't copy. Saving information. It asks us for a code, a pin, the one we had on the old phone. Since we don't know it, we're going to tap here on use Google account. And here, as you can see, it won't let us skip any further until we enter a Google account. All right. So what are we going to do now? We're going uh, to go all the way back to the beginning. Okay. More or less up to here. We're going to activate TalkBack. How are we going to do that? We're going to press the volume up and volume down buttons, both at the same time. We'll keep them pressed mm -hmm. until this message appears. So we're going to tap here to activate it, and a woman's voice will start speaking, okay? I'm going to lower the volume so it doesn't bother me. Now I'm going to tap activate. There, and we press volume up and volume down again. We keep them pressed. And this is how TalkBack would be activated. All right, folks, what are we going to do here? We're going to make an inverted L like this okay it's going to tell us it's going to ask if we want to give access to the microphone and we're going to say yes okay now guys we're going to tap here twice but but pay attention here when we tap here twice we're going to say open assistant the assistant will open and then we'll say open youtube we tap here twice could you please open the assistant for me now and then when you're ready Kindly open the YouTube application on your device as well, taking your time. All right, everyone, from here on, we can disable TalkBack. We're going to press volume up and volume down. Done. Let's quickly go up here uh, in the YouTube section to settings, about. We're going to go to terms of service. Google Chrome will open for us and we're going to tap accept here. No thanks. And here in the search bar, we're going to type the name of my channel, in this case, Nefred Omar. Nefred Omar, here it is in the search results. We're going to click on the first one that appears here. Let's wait for the page to load completely. Heads up, my page is usually updated regularly, so it's possible that after this tutorial it will be updated. But normally over here you'll find some links that say applications, or over here you'll find that app, or in the three dots, the three lines, applications and games, okay? If this section up here doesn't open for you, you need to wait a little longer for the page to finish loading. Click here and go to applications and games. Once you're inside, click where it says Android. And once we're inside the Android applications, here we're going to click accept and allow. Scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and you'll find an option that says access applications. Go into the one that says phone settings. Click on it and it will take us to the phone settings. All right, guys, now that we're inside, pay attention. If we go to applications and try to open one, as you can see, it doesn't give us permission to access it like before. So what do we need to do? Remember I told you that we needed to have a SIM card inserted? All right, let's go to where it says security. Now let's go to where it says SIM card lock. And at least in my case, I have two, one from Claro and one from Movistar. I'm going to pick one, whichever one you have. In this case, select it, lock it, accept, and let's set an easy code that we won't forget. For this example, I'm going to use one, two, three, four. I'm going to tap accept. With this, we now have a pin code set for the phone. Let's go back. And 
Be very careful here, guys. We're going to go back again. Now we need to use up a little bit of battery. Let's go here to battery. Let's go to battery percentage and select it. Now let's go again to adaptive uh, battery. Here. We're going okay, to turn it off. Let's go back. Now go to where it says battery saver. Turn off this option as well. And then go to where it says battery usage. If you notice, we see these two apps here. Android settings. If I tap on it, it now lets me in. But what we actually need is Google services. To enable Google services, we're going to go back, back again. We're going to go to accessibility. Then go to where it says accessibility menu. Menu shortcuts. Tap allow and then got it. Okay. So what do we need to do now, guys? Basically, we can go here or we go and open the assistant. And say open Google Maps. All right. In this case, it opens Google Maps for us. When Google Maps opens, it will usually start using Google services. Let's do that. In this case, we have 33%. Let's lower the percentage, which refers to the battery. In this case, I'm going to pick any location, uh, wherever I want to go. Let's see if it allows us to get there somehow. In this case, I'm going to look for a location near me. A shopping mall there, the Ventura Plaza shopping mall. I'm going to tell it to give me directions. Let's load any neighborhood in this case here. Torque Aroma, a neighborhood, and uh, we can select preview. We keep doing this until we can drain the phone a bit, all right? In this case, we're still at 33. We need to get it down to 32%. This now depends on your phone's battery. We're going to do a ton of things to it, or at least do several things until we drain it. To... All right? Here, I might make a little cut in the video or put it in fast forward. All right, guys, as you can see here, it's already dropped to 32%. A recommended tip. Let's gently go back carefully, guys, until it takes us back here to the settings, all right? Let's tap here. And as you can see, we now have 32%. Let's go back to battery. Battery usage. And here, once it updates, it should normally give us the option for the Google app, all right? Let's try again. Let's go. Let's exit. If after this, the Google app still doesn't show up here, what are we going to do? We're going to go back here. We're going to go to display. We'll turn up the brightness so the battery drains much faster. And we'll start opening the assistant. This assistant right here. And we'll tell it again uh, to open YouTube. At least and open YouTube. All right. It opens YouTube. Let's, buy, let's browse around YouTube a bit as well, which can help us quite a lot. We can watch videos. We can go to my channel. Do whatever you want. In this case, we're going to try to drain the battery. So... Let's go in. If you want to support me, you can watch one of my videos, all right? For example, this last one, which is about how to route a Motorola without needing TWRP. And as you can see, the battery percentage has already dropped. So let's go back gently, always back, back. And here, okay? Tap anywhere. And now we can set the brightness back to how we had it. Now, now let's go back again. Let's go back to battery. Let's go to battery usage, Kobo. And now Google Play Store service should appear for us. With this, we'll be able to get in. Now let's tap where it says disable. First, we're going to tap on force stop. We accept. We disable it. Disable all and force session. All right, guys. Once we've stopped and disabled this, what we're going to do is go back, but back, but all the way back slowly until we're right here at the Wi-Fi settings. Now that we're here, let me remind you that we previously did a special step, which was setting a security pin or on the SIM card. So now we're going to activate it. So we're going to take out the SIM card tray, just like this, and then put it back in. As you can see, a little icon appears indicating the SIM card, and this is where we need to enter the pub security code we set for the SIM card. That's why I told you to choose an easy one. In this case, it's one, two, three, four, and then we tap next. As you can see, a screen lock appears. Don't swipe up. Here's something very important. What we're going to do is try to pull down the notification bar with the toggles. We can try to spam these just like I'm doing. Pulling down, pulling down. If what we want to do doesn't work, in this case, you'll see what I mean. We're going to press the power button twice, like... We pull down the shade, quickly turn the screen off and on, and then keep spamming the shade. If you pay attention, some toggles appeared for just a split second. Well, when they appear, that's when we need to keep spamming downwards 
so that the full notification center finally opens up. And as you can see, I've already managed to access the notification bar. You just have to be patient and keep trying. Now we're going to swipe to the side and go all the way to the end to look for an, an option called GIF Creator. We go into it, then we tap Start, hit the little red button, and pause it. This image will appear and all we have to do is tap Share at the bottom. We're going to select the option that says Share with Maps. If it shows up for you like it does for me, just tap it once. If not, select Share with Maps. Once we're in here, we're going to press the back button several times until a little message pops up asking us to confirm. Remember, you have to press the back button quickly several times so that this message appears. So we're going to quickly tap yes. That already sent us to what is basically Google Maps. Just tap anywhere on the screen and now we have uh, Google Maps enabled. Now we're going to go up to the search bar and look for Google or any other company that gives us the option to call. In this case, I'll type in Google. If you notice, here it gives us the option to call. I'm going to click where it says call. The dialer opens up. I'm going to tap anywhere and then go up to where it says create new contact. The creation screen is enabled for us. We're going to add any name. Let's go to where it says more details. And if it appears blank like this, we're going to keep scrolling down, 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 down until the options are enabled. We're going to go to where it says more fields and look for the box that says website. We're going to write YouTube, all in lowercase, youtube.com. Now that we have this, we're going to click uh, save at the top. Now we're going to go to where it says contacts and we're going to click right where we put the name, not on the little label where it says the H, but anywhere that has letters. And then we'll go to where it says YouTube. As you can see, YouTube starts to open up and it tells us that we need to enable Google services. So we click enable, it doesn't give us the option. What are we going to do? If you look at the top, uh, there's a little face icon. So what we have to do is spam the enable button. And at the same time, tap the little icon at the top as if we were trying to log in. We're going to tap them many times until it takes us into the uh, settings options. This method can take quite a while here, so be patient. This is the most complicated part. We have to tap enable and at the same time tap at the top until it lets us enter the settings. If a YouTube video opens for you like it did for me, just tap enable, swipe to the side, slide your finger down and it will close. And we keep trying to enable it and tap at the top over and over again. After 30,000 tries, guys, I finally managed to open it. Let's quickly go to settings so we don't get kicked out of here. We're going to go to where it says about and then to YouTube's terms of service. This will open up Google Chrome for us. And for those who still haven't been able to access it, be patient, click enable and tap faster at the top and try different ways until you manage to get into this settings menu so you can access Google Chrome. What are we going to do now? We're going to type the name of this channel again at the top of the browser, Nifred Omar. Let's go into the first uh, result uh, again to my official page. As I said, let's wait for the page to fully reload so there won't be any issues. Remember, you can do this either in the three bars where it says app or at the bottom where it says applications. Just a reminder, my page often changes and varies. Now that we're here in this section, we're going to select that we need apps and games for Android. Remember, you need to wait for the page to load properly. And once we're here in the applications and games section, we're going to scroll all the way down to where it says access applications and then we'll go into phone settings again. And we're going to go to battery, select battery usage. And here Google Play Store services should appear. We're going to go in there, tap enable. And with that, guys, we've almost completely bypassed the Google account. For those of you who don't see Play Store services, that means you might have taken too long to follow the tutorial and this service disappeared because something else is now using more battery. The recommendation is to format the phone again and repeat all the steps from the beginning. This is in case the Google Play Store service option doesn't appear for you. If it does appear and we enable it, we can continue. What do we have to do? We're going to gently go back on the until we return to the main menu. Once we're here where it says Wi-Fi, we're going to quickly tap below where it says skip and continue. We're going to scroll down, accept and continue. As you can see, Google services tap more accept, then tap skip pin, boom, skip tick, and here it will start loading. Here where it says email, uncheck the box and tap next. We can choose anything we want next, but next. And as you can see, we're all set. Tap done and then exit completely. And if you notice, guys, we've already bypassed the Google account. We have a lot of errors here in the toggle bar, but that's normal. To finish the tutorial, we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to where it says system. Then go to reset options and select erase. 
all data uh, from the device. Tap on erase all data and then tap erase all data again. At this point, our phone will start to restart, guys. Why are we doing this? Because as I showed you, we're going to have a lot of problems with Google services since we paused, continued, and so on. So the phone won't work properly. By doing it this way, this reset won't ask us for a Google account again unless we add another one. Here, as you can see, it's completely wiping the system. And what it's going to do is start it from scratch. But if we check la later on, it won't ask us for the Google account. So let's wait for the phone to start up and then we'll continue. All right, folks, once the phone has started up, as you can see, it asks us for the security code that we set on the SIM card. We're going to enter it. In this case, it was one, two, three, four. We tap continue and we're going to fill everything out. We're going to skip the Wi-Fi network, go to setup, accept and move forward. We're going to skip this uh, step quickly so we can continue with the video. All right, guys, once we have our phone set up here, what we're going to do is remove the SIM card security pin. To do this, we're going to go to settings. Once we're in the phone settings, we're going to go to security. So we're going to tap where it says SIM card lock. We uncheck it, enter the code, and that's it. Now our SIM card will also be unlocked. And with that, the tutorial is 100% uh, complete on a Motorola G60 5G. Let me remind you that this method works for any other Motorola with the latest Android DA12 uh, security patch. All right, folks, I hope you liked it. I hope you loved it. Don't forget to give me your powerful like and your powerful subscription. Turn on the notification bell and select all notifications so you get notified about my videos. Don't forget to comment down below in the comment box if you had any problems. Let us know what error you encountered so we can help you solve it. We also have a new WhatsApp group here. The WhatsApp group is really for questions I and inquiries. It's not meant for providing virtual assistance, but rather for any doubts you might have. I'll also leave the link here in the description. Just a reminder, we don't help with bypassing Google accounts or rooting through that link. It's just for memes, chilling, meeting new people, and so on. Remember, we're also streaming on Twitch almost every night. You can drop by, ask any questions you have about cell phones, or even play a game or two with me. I'll also be leaving all the links to my social media in the description so you can check them out and there you can also ask me any questions you want and also guys just to let you know i'll be uploading a root method for this phone so don't forget to turn on the notification bell like i mentioned and as i say in all my videos guys i don't like to drag things out so until next time bye bye